YouTube, what's going on guys, your boy Jaden Paradox Systems, bringing you guys another video on how to properly overclock your controllers. And we are specifically looking at the reason that your PS5 controllers are only overclocking from 6 milliseconds to 4. I'll also do a quick demo on how to overclock all your other controllers as well, just in case you forgot or you didn't catch the last video. And for those of you who have never overclocked your controllers, please stick around to the end of this video because you guys are putting yourselves at a massive competitive disadvantage. And we're going to fix that for you guys in three simple steps. So let's roll the intro and hop right into the video. All right, guys, so we are here on the download page for the software on the Lord of Mice's GitHub page. And we're pretty much just going to go ahead and download this third one right here. So we're going to click this. Then we're going to press this download button in the top right corner. You can see I've done this quite a few times now going to go ahead and open up this right here and export this into a folder so we can name this overclock something along those lines we're going to drag and drop this entire thing here now that we have the software we can exit out of this i'm going to go ahead my trusty old ps5 controller you guys you can see this is a ps5 controller I'll plug it in here and then we are going to open this software and overclock this controller. Now I'm going to give you guys a quick run on how to do both PS4 controllers as well as the new PS5s. Again, guys, Xbox controllers do not work, so do not try to overclock them. Don't try it. You will just make your controller a little bit worse. So we're going to go ahead and try and find our controller in the list. And just to find it, you're going to look for something with a 6 to 5 millisecond delay. And when you unplug it, it should remove itself. So now we know it is the one with 6 next to it. And this is it right here. Now, guys, in the last video, I kind of made a quick error. How dare you? And I didn't realize that when you have a PS5 controller plugged in, the options go beyond 1,000. It goes to 8,000. So if you have a normal controller to overclock this, what you're going to do is press install service when you're hovering over this. Then you're going to go select this down to 1,000. And then you're going to press filter on device and install service again. And then I'm going to unplug this controller and plug it in. You guys see this will half overclock my controller. It won't give me the full one millisecond delay interval. That is a problem. And that is because this is supposed to actually be set to 8,000 on a PS5 controller. So I'm going to set it to 8,000. I'm going to install this service and I'm going to plug the controller. And as you guys can see now, we have yes, 8,000 and a one millisecond delay on our DualShock PS5 controller, guys. So that was the issue in the last video that I didn't clarify. So I want to apologize for that. But if this was helpful and if you guys enjoyed this, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell down for notifications, and we will see you guys in the next video.